Okay, we built the circuit, now let's debug. We have to tell the compiler to use the real board. So we hit Options, the Debug tab, and switch from the simulator, which we did last time, to use now the real board, use the debugger board. And we hit OK. To, to compile the project, we push Project Build. And in order to get the program onto the board, we will download it by hitting the Download button. This will flash the code into the ROM of the microcontroller. And we see that it worked. The next step is to actually debug. So we hit the debugger. And now we're in the debugger, but this time we're interfacing with the real board. We see our input and output variables. Over here are the registers. And we're going to want to see the board. So we'll hit the view, system viewer, GPIO port, and now we used port D, so we'll select port D. So over here on this window, we have port D that we can visualize. And just like before, we will single step it. Let's run to the first step right here. We'll put breakpoint at the first line, and then we will run to that line. And now we'll single step through the initialization turning on the clock, waiting three cycles, turning the direction register on, the alternative function off, the analog MUX off, the P control off, and the data enable on. So we've initialized it and we can see the initialization over here in the port D window. Next we'll debug the operation. By single stepping through, we're going to need the help of Professor Yarabali. Uh, can you tell us whether the switch is pressed or not? At this time, the switch is not pressed. OK, so we're going to read this line of code. The switch is not pressed. And just like in the simulator, the not pressed will make our input value equal to 0. It will calculate an output, which will be 8. And then when it performs that output, what happened? The light is on. Ooh. The switch is not pressed and the light is on. All right, let's run through it with the other situation. So, Professor Yarabali, push the switch. I am now pressing the switch. Okay. And now we execute this line and notice that the input variable is equal to a 1, meaning the switch is pressed. And when it exclusive ORs and shifts it over, uh, the variable output will become a 0. And now when it executes this line, the light is off. Ooh. The switch is pressed and the light is off. Shall we run it in full speed? Let's do it. All right. Let's go. Now we're running in full speed. And we alternate between the switch pressed and the light being off and the switch open and the light is on. Pressed, off, released, on. Ooh, it works.